The Vietnam Cuba Business Promotion Forum took place in Hanoi on September the 13th, seeing the participation of visiting Cuban Prime Minister Manuel Marrero Cruz and Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister Lee Minh Khai. The Vietnam Cuba Trade Agreement, which was signed in 2018 and officially took effect from April 2020, is an important legal basis for businesses of the two sides to fully tap tariff preferences towards lifting the two-way trade to 500 million US dollars in the next five years. Economic and scientific and technical cooperation between Vietnam and Cuba through the Intergovernmental Committee mechanism has been maintained regularly, recording important achievements. Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister Lee Minh Khai said he believes that with the participation of Vietnamese ministries, agencies, and enterprises, the two sides will create new investment and business opportunities, thus further boosting the bilateral economic, trade, and investment cooperation. Cuban Prime Minister Manuel Marrero Cruz praised Vietnam's socio-economic development achievements, especially the Southeast Asian nation's stable development amid the COVID-19 pandemic and in the context of complicated political and economic situation in the world. The Cuban Prime Minister pledged to prioritize and create the most favorable conditions for Vietnam-Cuba trade relations and for Vietnamese businesses investing in Cuba, expressing his belief that the forum could mark a new stage in the trade cooperation between the two countries. Cuban Prime Minister Manuel Marrero Cruz had a meeting with the leader and the members of the Vietnam-Cuba Friendship Association on September 29th as part of his ongoing visit to Vietnam. Chairman of the National Assembly's Committee for Foreign Affairs and President of the Vietnam-Cuba Friendship Association, Vũ Hải Hà, affirmed Vietnam always attaches much importance to the solidarity with Cuban friends who have supported the Southeast Asian country during its struggle for independence and national construction. He expressed his belief that under the leadership of the Cuban Revolutionary Party, Cuba will successfully carry out the process of updating the socio-economic model and firmly moving forward on the chosen path. Foreign Minister Mutin Sun paid an official visit to Austria on September 28th and 29th, which is an important event when the two countries are marking the 15th anniversary of their diplomatic relations. During the visit, Sun paid a courtesy call to President of the National Council of Austria, Wolfgang Sobokar, held talks with his Austrian counterpart, Alexandra Schallenberg, among others. During the meetings with Austrian leaders, the two sides noted with joy that political collaboration and regular high-level contact and visits in the past term have contributed to creating political trust between the two countries and an impetus for cooperation. Due to the positive effect of the EU-Vietnam Free Trade Agreement, trade and investment have become a bright spot in the vietnam austria ties, with bilateral trade reaching $3.35 billion, up nearly 14 percent from 2020. The two sides agreed to continue with close coordination to fully tap opportunities created by the Free Trade Agreement and facilitate market access for each other's exports. During the visit, the Vietnamese Foreign Minister also attended the opening ceremony of the Vietnamese country space, the Vietnam Austria Business Forum, and a ceremony to mark the 15th anniversary of Vietnam Austria diplomatic ties. State budget collection in the January September period was estimated at some 56 billion US dollars, reaching 94% of the yearly target and up 22% from the same time last year. According to the Finance Ministry, almost 63 provinces and cities have met over 75% of their targets in domestic collection, and 52 localities have collected higher tax revenues than the same period last year. Meanwhile, the country's state budget expenditures in the January to August period reached $45.5 billion. However, the disbursement of investment in development in the nine-month period is still behind schedule. Only seven ministries and 20 localities dispersed over half of the assigned investment capital. Based on the budget's revenues in the first nine months of the year, the ministry forecasts that the economy would expand 7 to 7.5 percent this year, while the export value would increase by 9.46 percent and import value by 10.5 percent year on year. Processing, manufacturing, and real estate are the biggest monies for foreign direct investment in the first nine months of 2022, statistics have showed. 
As of September 20th, registered FGI totaled 18.7 billion US dollars, down 15.3% year-on-year. According to the Foreign Investment Agency, under the Ministry of Planning and Investment, the processing and manufacturing sector continued to take the lead with over 12 billion US dollars in FGI, accounting for 64.6% of total registered capital. It was followed by real estate with over 3.5 billion US dollars or nearly 19%. Also, newly registered investment has yet to fully recover from the COVID-19 pandemic and recent global uncertainties. The capital added to existing projects and spent on trade purchases had been on the rise, the Apple agency said. In the period, Singapore was the largest source of FDI with more than 4.75 billion US dollars. It was followed by the Republic of Korea and Japan. Ho Chi Minh City was the biggest FDI destination with over 2.96 billion US dollars registered. Binzhong Province came second while Abakning took the third place. Ho Chi Minh City reaped positive results in poverty reduction in the 2016-2020 period and 2021. The results have contributed to the progress of the new style rural area building program of the city, with over 56 communes completing criteria in terms of poor household ratio. Accordingly, the income of poor households had increased steeply, with a minimum level of at nearly US$1,200 per year. In the 2015 to 2020 period, the poverty standards of Ho Chi Minh City were up to 2.5 times higher than the national level. Administrations at all levels and all sectors were asked to apply comprehensive, drastic, effective and breakthrough measures to carry out the Sustainable Poverty Reduction Program in the 2021 to 2025 period. In 2025, Ho Chi Minh City aims to have no poor household following the national poverty standards and under 0.5% is the rate of poor households in line with the city's standards. Leader of the city emphasized that the whole political system should continue to consider sustainable poverty reduction as an important and regular task and further promote the traditional of mutual support among the community while mobilizing resources from the society and on economic sectors along with the state budgets for the work. Enterprises in the textile, garment and footwear industries are facing a decrease in orders through the rest of this year and possibly into the next year. In the eight months of 2022, Vietnam's textile and garment export value reached 30 billion US dollars, but this value mainly came from the first month of the year. A representative of the Ho Chi Minh City Textile and Embroidery Association said, since in July, the style and garment industry enterprises have been facing many difficulties, including the reduction in export orders. Many the style and garment enterprises in Ho Chi Minh City are seeing a sharp drop in export orders, mainly in the U.S. and the EU, because inflation pressure in these nations is large, forcing consumers to tighten spending. An analyst report on the textile industry published by VN Direct Research has also commented that the demand for high-end clothing items such as serge and t-shirts made from recycled cotton fiber would slow down in the second half of 2022. At present, only a few large enterprises such as Tangum, Century Yarn and Dan Sam Joy Stock Company have enough export orders for the third quarter of 2022. One thousand three hundred and twenty four ancient Shan Tuyet trees in the northern province of Hazang have just been recognized as Vietnam Heritage Tree by the Vietnam Association for Conservation of Nature and Environment. The recognition was announced at a ceremony held in Hoa Su Phi District of Hazang on September 29th, honoring Shan Tuyet tea trees in five districts, including Bắc Quang, Hoàng Su Phi, Quang Bình, Vị Xuyên, and Sinh Mân. Shan Tuyet tea brand is well known among both domestic and international consumers and has been exported to many foreign markets such as Europe, Asia, and America. 
Hazang has sown up 20,500 hectares to plant tea, of which nearly 18,300 hectares are ready for harvest, with an estimated annual output of some 94,000 tons. Not only being the second largest tea growing province in Vietnam, Hazan province is also the locality with the biggest number of ancient Shan Tuyết tea trees for local people. The ancient trees have a strong sentiment in their heart. They are proud of the trees, considering them as an indispensable part of their country. Therefore, the work of protecting and preserving the tree is always paid with due attention by local authorities and residents.